What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and I welcome you back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in the previous few videos we fixed the enemy AI and now we have a flexible battle system where, you know, we can do combos, like not too professional combos, and the enemy can follow us and attack us and as you can see they are waiting. Oh, wait, there's something wrong with the AI. No, I think it has something to do with... Yeah... Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do follow us, but yeah, it depends on the delays we've set, so... Yeah, we can fix that later. But yeah, we can attack the enemy, the enemy can attack us. So, in today's video, we are gonna be adding player health and enemy health. So, it goes for both. Each of them, like, when you attack each, uh, the health decreases. So when you attack the enemy, his health decreases, and when the enemy attacks you, your health also decreases. So yeah, we are gonna do that today, but before we get started, make sure that you subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Unreal Engine tutorials, devlogs, and all of that stuff. And like the video if you aren't new on my channel, because that would really help me make more videos. And one more thing, super special thanks to my precious patrons who are supporting this channel and this series, thank you very much. So yeah, let's start. So the first thing we wanna do is make a value for the player health or the enemy health whatever for the health itself and to do that we can we're gonna do it as a variable in the bp base but eventually we're gonna connect the variable to a function in the blueprint interface but for now a simple variable is gonna do so we're gonna add a variable and we're gonna call it health points and the type is gonna be a float we are gonna add a default value we're gonna make it, I don't know yeah, 100 and of course this value is gonna change based on the upgrades and the stats we're definitely gonna do that but for now we're just gonna be a normal game until we can add the RPG elements so yeah for now this is good and let me close everything over here I want to start fresh yeah like this and when we go to the combat graph we are gonna go to the on hit node and over here we might we added what happens when the enemy or we attack the enemy we get the anim montage of getting hit and you know when the hit range actually hits you so yeah yeah we get attacked by the enemy then we delay then we turn to the actor that attacked us or the actor we attacked it goes for both so we are gonna add the new one over here what the way we're gonna decrease the health so to do that we are going to create a new macro we are going to call it check health or you know what not check change change health and you know we can change the naming anytime we want but yeah i'm being quick and not being too accurate with the naming and what we want to do now is so we are going to start by setting the health points after we get attacked so when we get attacked set health and what we are gonna do is we are gonna get the health and minus from it so we are gonna increment where's the minus yeah over here float minus float and the condition like what we set it as is what we're gonna decrease and the value that we are gonna decrease will depend on what level their character is and if they've upgraded the you know attacking and the strength so we are gonna put that over here in a new you no, know, like in a new input and we are gonna call it decrement health and you know this one 
or maybe we should just go with something more usual so we're gonna go with subtracted health so this is the value that the health is gonna decrease and you know when you do it so for example if we place the node here over here and it happens after we get attacked the subtracted health we are gonna get that from the you know stats that the player or the enemy has whatever character it is so yeah we're gonna leave it empty for now and we are gonna continue working on the macro then what we are gonna do after we set the health we are gonna start with a branch to ask it if the player like if the character's health is less than zero if it is we will die and if it's not it will continue so we're gonna go with less than float less than float the value is zero and if it's true then we are gonna play the dying animation and if it's false we are gonna go with an output so it just continues whatever it was doing and uh, whatever is true like for now we're not gonna add a dying animation we're just gonna do destroy actor i don't know if it works actually but we're gonna try it and yeah now we're gonna add the subtracted health so let's just go to the on hit again and connect the false to the delay and you know it just continues whatever it was doing now for the subtracted health what i'm gonna do is i don't know maybe i should yeah yeah i'm not gonna add the hit points value yet i'm just gonna add a value that is i don't know like we added 100 as the health float so for the damage we're gonna add something like i don't know 30 or something so yeah we're just gonna go with i don't know subtracted health we're gonna make it 30 and it's gonna depend on you know the weapon the stats of the uh, of the strength so yeah that will definitely change later but yeah if we try to destroy our enemy they die they get annihilated and we don't lock off anymore that's kind of weird oh we didn't lock up yeah okay so we're gonna do we're gonna fix that lock on problem later so to add a health bar what we want to do is we want to create a widget and what a widget is is it's basically something that contains all of the user interface that's being displayed on your screen so some things are not for the like you can make separate widgets, widgets each for something but for the HUD mainly it's just one of them so we are going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it user interface and of course spaces are not allowed so I'm just going to go back and add an underscore or something yeah there's no need for anything and inside this folder we are going to create a new widget so you go to user interface and go to widget blueprint and we are going to call this HUD widget and open it so yeah this is our screen and everything that's in the HUD or in the user interface in general will be over here so even the menus the you know everything even the pause menu the main menu yeah we're gonna create a widget for each of those later but for now this is only the HUD so we are gonna go to yeah for the health we want to add a progress bar but before we do that actually we want to add something else which is called i don't know a panel yeah a horizontal box or you know what let's just add a canvas panel like this and i'm gonna call this player stats 
So this one will include the stamina, the health, anything, the magic, yeah, the mana, everything will be included here. Of course, the experience points won't be here and not everything, but yeah, the health and all of that stuff. So we're going to change the size to be, I don't know, this is 100. Yeah, 300 by 200, I guess. No, 100. Yeah. And the position, we're going to add 30. 30. Yeah, like this. And inside of it, we're going to go back to the progress bar and add one for the health. So we are going to rename that to HP, which stands for health points. And let's add the word bar after it, HP bar. As for the anchors, we're going to go and choose this one. And you want to change this one to zero like this so that it's it's the it's you know filling the entire player stats panel and i think it's a bit too thick so for my taste so i'm i think i'm gonna decrease it just a little bit instead of 30 i'm gonna go with 20 no 20 is too small 25 yeah like this and for the style you want to go to this part and basically oh no not the style the appearance and yeah, this is basically the what it feels as. So, for example, if you go to percent, that way it shows you when it's full or not. So we're going to go and make it red so that, you know, it's more like Dark Souls. Because, you know, we all love Dark Souls. Yeah, like this. I'm going to make it more pink a little bit. Yeah, like this. And... Now that our health bar is ready, we want to add a functionality for it. But you know, when you go to your game and try it out to see if it works, you, you kind of don't see it anymore, like you don't see the HUD that we've made. So even if you fill up the percent and compile and hit play, it's still not in the game. And that is because we didn't add it to the blueprint. So we are going to go to the BP base and add this to the bp base or the bp player i guess it's also yeah that's better i think so when we go to the events begin play we are gonna create a widget the owning player will be gets player character yeah play, gets player controller and the widget is gonna be the one we've made so it's gonna be called hud widget and hit play uh, it still does not work okay we are gonna try and put it like this oh okay now i get why i actually forgot one more thing and that is to add the node called add to viewport and the target is the return value. So if we hit compile and hit play, you can see the widget now. And yeah, now we have some health. But when the enemy attacks us, it doesn't decrease and nothing happens. So we are going to add that. And one more thing I want to change. And that is if you go to fill color and opacity. No, the background color, I think. Yeah, over here. We can decrease the opacity of this and change the color. So I decrease the opacity to about a half. And as for the color, I'm going to go with darker gray or maybe darker red. Yeah, like this. It's less usual. So yeah, that's about it for this video. We added player health and we added the bar, health bar and enemy health. So when the enemy keeps attacking us, we actually get destroyed and we disappear forever. And yeah, you can see when the enemy finally attacks us one last time and the player health is zero, we no longer exist. Of course, the enemy keeps attacking like an idiot, but yeah. If we try again and attack the enemy ourselves, we can destroy them. Of course, it's still clunky, but we're gonna fix it. 
and we added the health bar but we didn't add functionality to it so we're gonna add that in another video but yeah for now this is good I would have added it in this video, but but it's gonna take some more time. So yeah, I don't want to make it too long. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. And I hope you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And special thanks to my precious patrons for supporting this series. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.